Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Trek Online. My name is Mago, and with me once again is... Megalomaniac. Hello, Internet. Good day. So, last time we did the uh, first proper mission of the uh, expansion storyline. And um, today, we're going to go on and do the next one. Um, mm -hmm. Normally, we would have actually gone off and done... Uh, stuff for the uh, summer event because that's what's on at the moment but it doesn't seem like there's anything new this year other than the new rewards um, which isn't to say that there isn't some neat stuff there because I've totally seen some Jem Hadar in some summer clothes and that's pretty weird yeah uh, there's there's new like baseball uniforms there's no like event stuff that's new yeah it's strange but it's, that's okay like I don't think it's that uh, like they just released an expansion they just released a new mm -hmm. featured episode after the expansion there's a lot of stuff that they that Cryptic just finished doing so I'm not too surprised that there isn't a new very sensitive mission. like a new a event Kai in the Kai summer Kai event was we'll see what happens at the winter event this year though Alien nanotech in her system prevents her from... Yeah, it'll be interesting. But it also sustains her life indefinitely while on the surface. It seems the wardens of the prison were planning on curing and granting amnesty to the prisoners until their planet was decimated by the Herc. Somehow, the Dominion managed to obtain the cure and they provided it to us as a peace offering. The moon hasn't been... We get to actually go into the Gamma Quadrant this time. Yeah. We need to cure well. Haka and the others and get them like into the in-game map of the Gamma Quadrant, I should say. Something else on your mind. Alright, so go to the Oid system, which I imagine is in the Gamma Quadrant. It is. Oh right, I should actually mention um, since we are seeing it now, uh, one of the interesting things that uh, Cryptic is doing for um, uh, for this mission, uh, for this uh, expansion, is okay. So there is a battleground for this expansion, like there usually is. You know, like it's not that uh, it's not that unusual. What's different this time is that the battleground is the actual whole uh, the whole quadrant. Mm -hmm. So you can you'll do stuff in different sectors to get progression and get rewards. Um, so it's just like ongoing constantly inside the inside the quadrant. And that's kind of cool. We'll probably like spend a, spend an episode looking at that specifically uh, once we're done with the story. Because um, I okay over here, battle zone personal reward progress. Here. What are we looking at? All right, so marks and or for doing missions to uh, advance these bars and unlock whatever the final uh, mission of the phase is. So I mean, it's it's basically just like a normal battleground. It's just that it's in the whole in this map, yeah, yeah in this whole map. And I, I think basically, so each of the three uh, things that they want you to do. Like, there'll be a sector, which is what's, um, like, the target for that. And then that's what you go and do missions in. So, we'll look at that more later. Um, for now, let's, uh, let's go and save the people on this moon, uh, or this, like, uh, prison planet. Um, because their jailers can't do it anymore. Well, they can. We're just going to stop that. Oh, whoops. Good, we've arrived. I suggest scanning the prison moon and its satellite network. They might have fixed the design flaw we exploited here years ago. Got some sound glitches, which hopefully didn't show up through our oh, audio. Crippled a Starfleet runabout with one shot back then. I'd rather not find out how powerful they are now. If you... Yeah, so this is referencing like a season one DS9 episode. Looks like the satellite weapon 
and defense systems were updated to deal with modern vessels, but they still have the... You should be able to distract the satellites Picking up by some firing debris clouds from her ships in orbit. Distract enough... <laughs> yeah, that's actually kind of a big weakness. It's possible some Herc bypassed the satellites. We should be ready. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Looks like O'Brien's trick still works. Can, you, can you hear me? And we have a safe transport window. Hi. Hi. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> How about now? Uh, I mean, I, I could have heard you the whole time. Are you just not able to hear me? We're in position. I recommend we bring some pattern enhancers along. Local interference can make it tough to get. All right, the doctor and I are ready to beam down. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah. I... Okay, there we go. I yeah, ah, I was always was always able to hear you. Okay. Technical difficulties. Uh, 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 no, we're good now. For some reason, my entire audio got muted. Oh, oh that's not good. Or what's left of her, rather. Looks like the locals have scavenged everything of value from the old girl. Unlike her, they can never die thanks to the nanotech inside of them. Right. The last time we were here, the prisoners were eager to be cured, if only to get the chance to kill their rivals off for good. I'm not... Yeah, that's what he was referring to. Hmm. Having a hard time finding the the ship from where we uh, started from. The Yangtze. Yeah. We're not alone. Herc life signs dead ahead. No oh boy, Herc. Of course, uh, a few of these managed to get onto the planet. This is interesting. I just ran a medical scan on these herb. They're not regenerating. There's no sign of the alien nanites in their bodies. Something in the herb genetic makeup isn't compatible with the nanites. I suspect it only works on humanoids. Hmm. So, I guess other than the summer event not not a whole lot happening uh no, side, release and uh, stuff since the last time um the uh, the stuff that they announced for the summer event this year there is some interesting stuff in there like like as mentioned there's a bunch of new outfits based on baseball teams um mm -hmm. you know to go with the, the deep space nine themed expansion um but the uh the new um uh like the the new abilities that they added uh, are also kind of neat. Like um, I want to say the new tactical one is it's like the um, oh there's one stuck on a wall over here. Oops. There we go. We're here to help. Keep fighting. Maybe that was just maybe that was supposed to be weird. Um, 
I want to say that the new tactical one is kind of like the uh, the command ability that you have on your um, uh, um, on one of your bridge officers, one that like summons the drone that flies forward and causes explosions. Except uh, it like does mini volcanoes instead of just dropping bombs. Um, yeah, that one's pretty goofy. Yeah. The healing nanites are quite effective. In fact, they seem to have become more. You can relax. I'm fine now. Really. Um. You made it. Good. The guy's been expecting you. I can't yeah. remember what She's the science one is, but I want to say that the engineering us. one we'll is a turret generator that summons tornadoes. More of those things show up. I'm missing something like that. They usually do like some goofy weather control thing for the uh, for the engineering one. Yeah. The guy's waiting for you in the temple ahead. Uh, I'd have to look up again what the science one is because I don't remember off the top of my head. Welcome. It's been some time since we've had peaceful visitors. And Kai Kira, it's been too long. Um. True. And they also added like a few new uh, skins of um, of like the hoverboards to go with the you'll be able to um, live a normal life to go with the the baseball outfits and free. you know uh, they also added like a bunch of new food stuff us. which I think are meant for a a, uh, a new triple uh, and it's like it's like yes, a baseball stadium pockets. food too which is pretty mm -hmm. great that's pretty, pretty good. We ended the war between Ennis mm, and the Cracker Jacks. I don't hope I or I don't care if I ever go back. <laughs> um, yeah, like I, I, I think I've seen that there. I, I, I can't remember if it was from last year, but I don't think it was because I don't think they've added food items to the summer event yet. Um, we don't even know their name. They're called her. But uh, I've seen. One time when I was doing my, my daily flight mission, uh, I guess I was in the range of someone to get their triple buff. Mm -hmm. And it seems to grant like a um, like a flight speed bonus to people around you when you use it. I can't have it falling into the hands of such a warlike species. It would be like, that's not going to happen. I won't allow it and neither will my friends. We can admit very well. Begin the procedure. I'm sure many of us are eager to leave this place, and they... We're gonna cure them of their immortality. This won't go wrong, honest. No, this will work perfectly fine. Some time ago, I asked Bashir for this cure. I wanted to use the cure as a weapon and kill the enemy. I couldn't put the war with the Knoll behind. I hated him for denying my chance for <laughs> The cure, huh? Well, this cure had better work, friend. I come where all of them are like, uh, well, I can die now. That's cool. I, I don't remember why it started. Just that there was us and the Ennis. And the Ennis had to die. Even when the car... I mean, at least it means they'll leave. ...down to one dose of the cure. Use that to inoculate the Kai. Kai or Parker, that is. It looks like you're down to one dose of the cure. Then you have to specify because we actually do have two Kai's here. Mm hmm. You have my thanks for all you have done for us today. Those things are attacking! Defend yourselves!
I'm afraid he's dead. There's nothing we can do for him. Though we will mourn the loss of our friend, Gollum, we can take comfort knowing that, at long last, he was able to leave this place for a better one. He is finally like immediately after and his we yeah. do this. Cure him. Yeah. And he get rid of the one guy who was from the original episode. The doctor and I will stay with Opaka and her people in case the Herc make another attack here. Alright, well, we better find another way out. Nah, it'll be fine. Oh, yeah. These people just seem to be quiet today. Yeah. I don't have much to say. Yeah, I don't know. Just... Bugs. Fighting bugs. Swarmed. Set up the pattern enhancer so we can beam out safely. There's no pattern enhancers. I'm sure there won't be ships to blow us up. Uh, I think there'll be a few that we will be able to blow up. Yeah, there we go. We gotta... We gotta defeat some Herc and then we can get the rest of the... rest of the people off that planet. Just a few Herc. Oh yeah, not much. Hey, did you mention how the new um, event ship is three five weapon slots? Right. Yeah, I don't think that. Yeah, I don't think I that about came that. out. Um, something just blasted me. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the new event ship is weird. It is a. It's a. It is a science vessel. Um, 
Yeah. It's not a straight side vessel though. It's one of the it's one of the variants, right? It's like a dreadnought. Yeah. yeah. I think I think it's like meant to be like a science destroyer type ship. Um. And yeah, it's a. Uh, its stick is that it is three four weapons, five act weapons, and that's weird. Um, I kind of like it, but it's just like that many aft slots is like it's it's hard to use that many aft slots. Um, there's a way to go about it for sure, um, but it, like it's. It's odd, yeah. I kind of like it. Let's move the ship behind the satellites and lure the hurricane. Recruit, provide an update on your progress. What happened on Alt? The Ennis and Null Ennis can finally die? I suppose in our own way, we too wish for death. It is our greatest proof of loyalty. Strain, of course. But perhaps life is other things as well. No matter. Your efforts on Alt will have a positive. Now we get to fight little space dudes. Just in time. Here they come. But this time we have it's timed. a satellite system to uh, to help us out. Yeah, that's just a time thing. Yeah. Like, survive for another minute and a half. Not a big Shouldn't be too effort. hard. And, like, to be honest with the way um, respawning works in this game, like, survive for... For two minutes doesn't even mean that you have to survive for two minutes. It just basically means sit for two minutes. Mm -hmm. Which is fine. I, I have no problems with that. Um, you know, it's part of the design. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather have this than, like, here, do with, like, three waves. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's just more interesting than is the norm. And then usually they finish off uh, this with like clean up, but you know since we have these satellites providing fire support, it's not usually. It's a pretty easy. Yeah. One of the cute missions is similar. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna have to look at those once we finish up the story missions as well. Apparently some of those satellites flew out of position. That's pretty hilarious. Mm -hmm. Alright, looks like the Herc have had enough for now. Let's get the rest of Opaka's people out of the colony while we can. I'm glad I was able to administer the cure to the remaining prisoners while you were clearing a path to the transport site. Everyone is safely aboard and mortal for the first time in many years. I've never seen so many people overjoyed to learn that eventually they'll die. Thank you, Julian. It means a lot to me to have everyone out safely, especially Paka. We have a lot to talk about, her and I. For now, I think we should return to Deep Space Nine before the Herc come back to settle the score. We. Yep. Thank you, Julian. It there we go. And that was a shorter one compared to last time. Yeah. Welcome to Deep Space Nine. 
to Deep Space Nine. In a way that also went a lot more straightforward than I was expecting it to. Emissary, oh. our paths meet again. Hello, Ben. It's good to hear from you. Archive recordings. <laughs> so you can get Avery Brooks. Sadly. Sadly. Yet, I should say. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like I actually kind of expected that mission to to have at least a twist in it. Um, like I actually appreciate that I'm it didn't because the twist is obviously ages. like, yeah, everyone is agreed to this peaceful coexistence. Actually, they didn't. And like that's that's kind of lame. Odo assures me yeah. that the Dominion are open to discussing this. Let's see, many of us have not forgotten the fate of the new Bajor colony and the Dominion's role in that. As for me, my time as Kai is coming to an end. Opaka is the Kai that Bajor needs now. I intend to guard the... Uh, so that would leave... Next is the search. That's the... Best place to do that, that? Space Nine, as part of Starfleet. Ah, uh, yes, that one. Next time you see me. Oh, yes, Thank they're you. suggesting here that uh, Kira's going to give up Kai. Yeah, she does. Spoilers. <laughs> Next time you see her, she's back in Starfleet, captaining the Defiant. Oh, that's very appropriate. Sorry, Curland. Oh, the that poor guy. The to send All right. there is much to be yeah, so next episode is The Search. Um, Alright, just exploring some of the outer reaches of the Gamma Quadrant. Yeah. Um, but, uh... I think we can do that next time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do want to go back because I, I heard... I haven't done this myself yet, but I heard they did some updates to the 4400 where they replaced the Cardassian guy with Garrick. Really? Yeah, I, um, eventually I'll go back through on my, my other Jem'Hadar oh. uh, and do those. Yeah, if so, we'll have to go back and just do a like a mini update episode. Yeah. Just take a look at that. It's like... Yeah, I'll, I'll eventually go there and check it out, but I could be I could be being lied to. It's just a random thing I saw on the interwebs. All right, we'll have to look. And into you know, the internet usually is full of one hundred percent factual information that's never wrong. Uh, yeah, never wrong. Um, no, never ever wrong. Nope. Because you know, Final Fantasy VII is the greatest Final Fantasy game ever made. <laughs> no, it's not success. Um, <laughs> mm. but I'm just starting shit. Yeah. I like but no, six, seriously, but it's six. not my favorite. I didn't say favorite, I said best. Eh. We're not talking your opinion, we're talking objective fact. Eh, we'll see about that. What is your favorite? Um, I'm not entirely sure if it's uh, if it's 14 or if it's 13 too. Okay, fair enough. Because, like, 14 is really good. Thirteen two is also good and like silly in the ways that I like my like ridiculous overwrought JRPGs to be. Mm -hmm. And I actually have a deep appreciation for like game mechanics that are you need to go through a bit of a timeline and then re and reset it and use knowledge from the failed timeline or whatever to right. advance like. It's not as big of a thing in thirteen two, but it's like the crux of the Zero Escape games, and I really like mm -hmm. it there. And I eventually want to play um, Radiant Historia because it's a similar idea. Mm. So, we'll yeah. see. Anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, that's. Uh, I think that'll be it for us for this week. Um, It'll be some time before the next recording. Like I know that we're on a very irregular schedule at the moment. Um, you know, I do apologize for that, but yeah, I kind of got a social life. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. I probably said that last time. Yeah, I, I mean, like to be honest, I do this as like a fun thing, you know. So like, it's fine if it's every now and then. 
Um, like I just like having a fun time sitting down with you, playing some Star Trek Online, and just talking about stuff. Mm-hmm. We do. Need it to, is fun. We do need to also sit down and watch some giant robots and talk about stuff. But man, I'm I'm just kind of down on my into the breach. Let's play. Let's do it. No, I'm just <laughs> I actually don't even own that game yet. Maybe I'll do a Battletech one. I, I will eventually. Yeah, eventually I'm going to pick up Into the Breach, but it's a little bit further down. Um, yeah, I'm just like I'm just I've just been down because the last recordings that I've done, like my video processing tools are just not playing nice with the files, and there's no reason for them to not play nice, and I'm just upset. <sighs> oh well. Maybe when I come back from my summer vacation, I'll feel a lot better about it. Yeah, where are you going? Uh, actually, I'm, I'm heading down to the Maritimes to visit um, visit the, my relatives. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, have fun. Right. Hopefully, it's more summer there than it is here. <laughs> Man, we where... just got over a real bad heat wave. Um, it'll probably it probably will be warm down in the Maritimes. But mm-hmm. I hope it won't be as warm because, like, uh, it was, it was really rude uh, how how hot it was. Like, I was feeling real bad. I'm not that resistant to heat, and I'm super not resistant to sun. Um, yeah. It, yeah. So it being a bad heat wave meant that it was bad times outside for me but it's definitely been feeling better like today and uh like late yesterday i didn't even need to have my fan on all the time all the time so that was that was nice hmm. but yeah um yeah so yeah that'll be it for us for this week so um okay. we'll see you all next time bye everybody